Okay, I had this fish and I named him Amoeba Fish because he did nothing like an amoeba fish. I mean, I don't think high school was like bad, but it was mostly like, see, I came from a really small Catholic school, so like, I didn't really know how to make friends because I had been with like the same 12 people since I was seven. So like when I got to high school and I was thrown in with like all of these new people, I had no idea what to do. Fishes are better than people. Me, but don't you think that's true? Yeah, people will beat you and curse you and cheat you. Every one of them's bad except you. Oh, thanks, bud. I started theater my sophomore year of high school, or it was actually like the, I guess it would have been the summer before my sophomore year of high school. So I was actually doing it for a little while before I had amoeba fish, but I guess I had never really like immersed myself in it before that. What I started doing was I started like bringing icebreakers, I guess you would say, to rehearsal. I actually ended up bringing like giant bags of gummy worms to rehearsals. And what I did was I had like everybody I could get to sit in a circle and we'd pass around the gummy worms and we'd say our name and then something interesting about ourselves, like an AA meeting. I'm also a triplet and this is my sister. We actually called it Actors Anonymous because we thought it was funny. Hi, my name's Gina and I thought this was fucking anonymous. Amoeba Fish's catchphrase was that he didn't really do much, but he did enjoy theater. My mom would bring him to see my shows, like he came to see Beauty and the Beast and he had his own little chair. Nobody questioned whether, like, why my mom was bringing my fish into the theater. They were just like, oh, that's Erica's mom. She has a fish. If I hadn't have had like the icebreakers to help me along the way, then I wouldn't have I wouldn't have had the courage to go up to people. I kind of needed like I needed that extra something to give me a reason to talk to people, and he was one of those reasons. Well, I kind of noticed he wasn't doing anything, but that wasn't anything like abnormal for him. He never did anything anyway. He was an amoeba fish. So he was just kind of floating around in his tank for a couple of days and I was like, hmm, this doesn't quite seem right. I would say I've become a much more confident person because of it. Suppose all you ever had for breakfast was onion rolls. Then one day in walks a bagel. You'd say, uh, what's that? Until you tried it. That's my problem. I'm a bagel on a plate full of onion rolls. Nobody recognizes me. This is Beyonce. <laughs> Her name is Beyonce because she's the queen. You can see she has a little castle. And she's been like eating a lot. Like she's, she's kind of a fatty. Even if nobody here likes me, Beyonce will always like me because I feed her. So, <laughs> Beyonce's gotta love me. <laughs> and I guess that's kind of like why Amoeba Fish helped me too. Like, people can hate on you, but fish are love, fish are life, they're friends. <laughs> Ha 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 ha.